What do you think was his best sport that he covered, Dick? What do you think he was best? At? I think there's a tie, Rich. Um, he loved the two that I'm going to bring up beyond the others. I believe they uh, one was the, of course, the NFL, but the other was tennis. And I don't think he enjoyed anything more than his three weeks um, in England doing Wimbledon. And uh, he and his family loved being there, but most of all, he just loved being in that tiny little courtside box, calling it with, uh, well, the, the lineup of analysts that he worked with is quite impressive. But in particular, uh, initially, he had a couple of good years with Connors, and then Jimmy didn't want to do TV anymore. And John, who was reluctant at first, jumped into it. He just loved that. And when we finally lost the rights, uh, NBC lost the rights to Wimbledon about a year after I, I retired, uh, he went over and, and uh, did some Wimbledons for ESPN. So he kept his hand in it. But I also think, you know, you're talking about these Super Bowls. Um, his last Super Bowl as a play by play announcer uh, joyfully was in his hometown of San Diego, where he lived just up the coast in La Jolla. And it really was a very hard game to do because if you remember the circumstances, it was announced in, in mid-January of that year, just before the Super Bowl, that we had passed on our rights to continue to have football. Um, and so it was the last game that many people thought NBC might ever have of a pro football game. And I was adamant that we weren't going to do what some other people had done in the distant past, which was to sort of hang crepe over their last telecast and sort of make the public at home feel like somehow that something was going to be lost to them. It was going to be lost to us, but I felt that that was really self-involved, and I didn't want to see our folks go down that path. And until the very end of that telecast, Dick is the on-air head of our broadcast never went anywhere near it and it was a very sad moment for him because at that point he knew he might never do a game again he certainly didn't have the opportunity to do a super bowl again but he kept all of his thoughts uh inside of himself and the telecast was a great telecast and a very exciting one as you remember how sure. it went at the end and the big upset with denver um beating green bay a couple more minutes left with Dick Ebersol here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. And again, just a testament to his greatness and the breadth of his career, Dick, is, you know, the fact that he is in Cooperstown um, for his work calling baseball. And we didn't even touch on college basketball. The years he spent covering locally, That's John really Wooden, are. UCLA, and his yeah. time with Al McGuire, that connection between oh, two that, announcers yeah, and on the air. And then ultimately with Billy there with as well. Billy Packer. Threesome, but... But I think Dick really, uh, his arrival on the American scene in a big, big way is sort of due to another really special fella, Eddie Einhorn, who put together the first truly national broadcast. Of, the Astrodome. Uh, the Astrodome. Regular season. UCLA and Houston, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, I think that's when the, the whole country got let in on the special treat that people on the West Coast had had for a number of years, which was Dick Enberg. In fact, Enberg was well-known in, in what is now your neck of the woods, Rich, because he was the voice on Channel 5 in L.A. for years with yeah. his then-wife of the, uh, the Christmas Parade. Who also so had he, Vince Scully and Chick Hearn and Bob Miller in the same newsroom. It's yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. Truly and is how unbelievable. About, how about the agent and... L.A., who was one of the great <laughs> broadcast agents ever, who had the joy of having both Vin and and Dick, and that was uh, Twix Stratton. And then he, I think, he loved the leverage he had with those two guys because <laughs> they were always the nicest guys in the world, but the hook could be the tough guy in the negotiations. Hey. Never have it touch them. Everybody's have has to have the bulldog. For more Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Rich Eisen Show app.